Once upon a time, in the heart of ancient Rome, gladiators clashed in the Colosseum, their destinies hanging by a thread. This wasn't just entertainment, no, it was a brutal display of competition, raw and unforgiving. The roar of the crowd, the thirst for victory, the ever-present shadow of defeat, all painted a vivid picture of the stakes at play. But this wasn't confined to the dusty arena, oh no. The Roman Empire itself, a titan of its time, was built on the bedrock of competition. Expansion, conquest, the relentless pursuit of dominance, these were the lifeblood of Rome. Yet, like a tragic hero in a Greek play, Rome's insatiable appetite for competition sowed the seeds of its own downfall. Internal strife, political machinations, the insatiable hunger for power all chipped away at the foundations of this once mighty empire. The lesson, my friends, is stark and clear. Competition, like fire, can be a powerful tool, a force for progress and innovation. But left unchecked, it can consume everything in its path, leaving behind only ashes. The modern workplace, a far cry from the blood-soaked sands of the Colosseum, still echoes with the clang of competition. We see it in the relentless drive for promotions, the pursuit of bonuses, the constant pressure to outperform. This competition, much like the gladiatorial contests of old, can be a double-edged sword. In its rawest form, it can foster a toxic environment, rife with stress, anxiety and a lack of trust. Competition in excess destroys creativity, Ed Catmull once said. These are not merely words, but a stark warning from a man who understands the delicate balance of competition in a creative field. Unhealthy competition, much like a disease, can poison the well of collaboration, stifle innovation, and ultimately harm the very organization it was meant to benefit. Individuals driven by fear and insecurity resort to sabotage, backstabbing, and unethical practices, creating a climate of fear and mistrust. However, competition, when channeled correctly, can be the driving force behind innovation, productivity, and growth. A study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology in 2019 highlighted that individuals, when engaged in healthy competition, demonstrate increased effort, creativity, and a stronger sense of purpose. This form of competition, much like the Olympic Games of old, celebrates excellence, inspires us to reach our full potential, and fosters a spirit of camaraderie and respect even amongst rivals. So how do we distinguish between these two faces of competition? How do we ensure that the arena we inhabit fosters growth rather than destruction? The answer, my friends, lies in understanding the fundamental differences between healthy and unhealthy competition. Navigating the treacherous waters of workplace competition requires a compass, a guiding star to help us chart a course towards success without succumbing to the allure of the dark side. This is where M. Yoga Coaching and Consulting steps in, a beacon of light in the often murky world of professional competition. We understand that true success lies not in crushing your opponents, but in elevating yourself and those around you. Our approach is rooted in the belief that healthy competition is not about winning at all costs, but about striving for excellence in a way that benefits both the individual and the team. We equip you with the tools and strategies to identify your strengths, leverage your unique talents, and develop a winning mindset that doesn't rely on undermining others. Our coaching programs, crafted by Dr. Joga with a deep understanding of human psychology and organizational dynamics, provide a roadmap to navigate the complexities of workplace competition with grace and integrity. We believe that collaboration, not cutthroat competition, is the key to unlocking true potential. Our workshops and seminars are designed to foster a spirit of teamwork, encouraging individuals to share their knowledge, support each other's growth, 
and celebrate collective achievements. We understand that a rising tide lifts all boats and we strive to create a workplace environment where everyone feels valued, respected and empowered to contribute their best. The journey to mastering the art of competition is not a solitary one. Let M. Joga Coaching and Consulting be your trusted guide, your ally in the arena. We are here to help you turn the challenges of competition into opportunities for growth, to transform the Colosseum of your workplace into a crucible of collaboration and shared success. Now some of you might be thinking, this all sounds a bit idealistic, old chap. Isn't competition inherently cutthroat? Well, let me take you back in time to the bustling workshops of Renaissance Italy. Think of Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo Raphael. These weren't just artists. They were titans of their time, locked in a constant dance of competition. They vied for commissions, for the favor of patrons, for their place in history. But here's the fascinating bit. Their competition, rather than stifling creativity, fueled it. Each artist, inspired by the achievements of their rivals, pushed the boundaries of their craft, resulting in a golden age of art that still captivates us today. This, my friends, is healthy competition in its purest form. It's about pushing each other to be better to innovate, to create something truly extraordinary. And this principle isn't confined to the realm of art. Look at the world of technology. The fierce rivalry between Apple and Microsoft, while often portrayed as a battle for market dominance, has driven innovation at an unprecedented pace. Each company, spurred on by the other, has consistently pushed the envelope resulting in products that have revolutionized the way we live, work, and communicate. A study published in the Harvard Business Review in 2018 found that companies operating in highly competitive industries were more likely to invest in research and development, leading to breakthroughs and advancements that benefited not just the companies themselves, but society as a whole. So, you see, Healthy competition, when approached with the right mindset, can be a powerful engine for progress and innovation. Consider the Wright brothers, Wilbur and Orville. These two bicycle mechanics from Ohio dared to dream of flight in a time when such notions were considered the stuff of fantasy. They faced skepticism, ridicule, and even outright hostility from those who believed their quest was futile. But the Wright brothers had something special, a potent combination of ingenuity, perseverance, and yes, a healthy dose of competition. See, they weren't just competing against the limitations of their time, they were also competing against each other. Each brother pushed the other to refine their designs, improve their understanding of aerodynamics, and ultimately achieve what many thought impossible. This wasn't a rivalry fueled by envy or animosity, but by a shared passion and a desire to see their dreams take flight. The Wright brothers' story teaches us that healthy competition can be a powerful motivator, driving us to achieve feats we never thought possible. It highlights the importance of setting ambitious goals, embracing challenges, and using competition as fuel to propel us forward. It's about recognizing that we can achieve more together, spurring each other on to reach new heights. But it's crucial to remember that healthy competition requires a strong foundation of respect and fairness. The Wright brothers, despite their intense rivalry, never resorted to sabotage or underhanded tactics. They understood that true success lay not in tearing each other down, but in building each other up. Their story is a testament to the power of collaboration and mutual respect, even in the heat of competition.
Now, I know what you're thinking. That's all very well for inventors and artists, old boy. But what about the cut and thrust of the modern workplace? Well, let's draw wisdom from an unlikely source. Sun Tzu's The Art of War. This ancient Chinese military treatise, while seemingly about battlefields and conquests, offers profound insights into the nature of competition that are as relevant today as they were centuries ago. Sun Tzu teaches us that the greatest victories are often won not through brute force, but through strategy, through understanding your opponent's strengths and weaknesses, and through choosing your battles wisely. In the context of the workplace, this translates to recognizing that not every situation requires us to be the loudest voice in the room or to trample over others to get ahead. Sometimes the most strategic move is to collaborate, to leverage the strengths of your colleagues and to build alliances that benefit everyone involved. Remember, the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. This doesn't mean shying away from competition altogether. It means approaching it with intelligence and discernment, choosing your battles carefully and focusing on achieving long-term success rather than short-lived victories. Healthy competition in the workplace is about striving for excellence, but it's also about recognizing that we're all part of a team. It's about celebrating each other's successes, offering support during challenging times, and fostering an environment where everyone feels valued and respected. So, how do we create this kind of environment? How do we transform our workplaces from potential battlegrounds into spaces where healthy competition can thrive? Well, it starts with a shift in mindset a move away from the dog-eat-dog -dog mentality towards a more collaborative and supportive approach. It's about recognizing that our colleagues are not our enemies, but rather our teammates in the pursuit of shared goals. It's about fostering open communication, encouraging constructive feedback, and creating a culture where everyone feels comfortable sharing their ideas and perspectives. Now let's delve into the darker side of competition, the kind that can poison even the most promising endeavours. Ancient Rome, for all its glory, also offers us cautionary tales of ambition gone awry. Take the tragic fall of Julius Caesar, for instance. Betrayed by his closest confidants, stabbed in the back by those he trusted most, Caesar's demise serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition. In the workplace, as in the Roman Senate, unhealthy competition can breed envy, resentment, and a willingness to resort to unethical tactics to get ahead. The backstabber, the office gossip, the one who takes credit for others' work, these are the characters who thrive in an environment where winning at all costs is the only rule. A study published in the Journal of Applied Psychology in 2016 found that employees who perceived their workplace as highly competitive were more likely to experience stress, burnout, and decreased job satisfaction. This toxic atmosphere not only takes a toll on individual well-being, but it can also cripple an organization's productivity and innovation. When people are constantly looking over their shoulders, afraid to share ideas or take risks for fear of being undermined, the spirit of collaboration and creativity withers and dies. Let's journey now to Renaissance Italy, where the infamous Borgia family held sway with their blend of political cunning and ruthless ambition. Led by the patriarch Pope Alexander VI, the Borgias stopped at nothing to consolidate their power, eliminating rivals through poison, deceit and treachery. Their story, though set centuries ago, holds up a mirror to the darkest impulses that can fester in a hyper-competitive environment. When individuals prioritize their own gain above all else, when the pursuit of power trumps integrity and ethical conduct, 
the very fabric of an organization can begin to unravel. In such a climate, trust becomes a liability. Collaboration is seen as weakness, and the only language spoken is that of self-preservation. This is unhealthy competition at its most destructive, leaving a trail of broken relationships, shattered morale, and ultimately diminished returns. A 2019 study by the Society for Human Resource Management revealed that unhealthy workplace competition was a major contributor to increased employee turnover, reduced productivity and a decline in overall company performance. Now, you might be thinking, surely a little bit of ruthlessness is necessary to get ahead, right? Well, let's consider the cautionary tale of Enron, once a darling of the energy industry, lauded for its aggressive corporate culture and its relentless pursuit of growth. However, beneath the veneer of success lurked a culture of cutthroat competition, where employees were encouraged to prioritise profits above all else, even at the expense of ethical conduct and legal boundaries. The result, as we all know, was one of the most spectacular corporate collapses in history, bringing down not only the company, but also ruining the lives of countless employees and shaking investor confidence in the market. Enron's downfall serves as a stark reminder that the price of cutthroat competition can be far greater than any short-term gains. When winning becomes the only metric of success, when the ends justify any means, we create a breeding ground for unethical behaviour, legal ramifications and ultimately the erosion of trust, both within the organisation and in the marketplace. So how do we navigate this treacherous terrain avoiding the pitfalls of unhealthy competition while harnessing its potential for growth. The key, my friends, lies in fostering a culture of healthy competition, one that emphasizes collaboration, mutual respect, and a shared commitment to excellence. This requires a conscious effort from both leaders and individuals to shift the focus from me versus them to us. It means creating an environment where everyone feels valued and respected, where collaboration is encouraged, and where success is measured not just by individual achievements, but by the collective accomplishments of the team. Remember, my friends, the strength of the team is each individual member. The strength of each member is the team. Phil Jackson, former basketball coach. In the next act, we'll delve into practical strategies to help you transform unhealthy competition into a force for good, propelling both you and your organization towards lasting success. Now, some might say that turning unhealthy competition into something positive is akin to alchemy, trying to turn lead into gold. But fear not, my friends, for just as the alchemists of old sought to transform base metals through knowledge and careful practice, so too can we transform toxic rivalry into a catalyst for growth and achievement. The first step, as any seasoned alchemist would tell you, is to identify the base elements, the root causes of unhealthy competition in your workplace. Is it a lack of clear goals and expectations? leading to individuals vying for limited resources? Is it a culture of fear and blame, where people are afraid to make mistakes or challenge the status quo? Once you've identified the problem, you can begin to apply the right solutions. This might involve implementing clearer performance metrics, fostering open communication to address conflicts constructively, or creating opportunities for collaboration that highlight the benefits of teamwork. Remember, the greatest discovery of all time is that a person can change his future by merely changing his attitude. Oprah Winfrey. By shifting our perspective on competition, seeing it as a chance for growth rather than a threat to our survival, we can begin to transform the very nature of the game we play.
Let's turn our attention now to the Medici family, not for their political machinations, but for their patronage of the arts that sparked the Italian Renaissance. Their court in Florence became a melting pot of ideas, bringing together artists, scientists and thinkers from all walks of life. This cross-pollination of disciplines led to an explosion of creativity, from the masterpieces of Michelangelo to the groundbreaking discoveries of Galileo. Similarly, in the workplace, we can foster a similar Medici effect by encouraging collaboration across different departments and disciplines, breaking down silos and creating opportunities for cross-functional teamwork can lead to fresh perspectives, innovative solutions, and a more harmonious and productive work environment. When people from diverse backgrounds and areas of expertise come together, they bring with them a wealth of knowledge and experience. This diversity of thought is essential for innovation as it allows us to challenge our assumptions, see problems from different angles, and come up with truly creative solutions. Remember, the best teamwork comes from men who are working independently toward a common goal in unison. James Cash Penny, founder of J.C. Penny. By cultivating a workplace culture that values collaboration and inclusivity, we can unlock the collective genius of our teams and achieve results far greater than the sum of our individual parts. Now let's journey back to ancient Greece to the legendary Spartan warriors. They were renowned for their discipline, their courage and their unwavering loyalty to one another. One of their most formidable tactics was the phalanx formation, a tightly packed formation of warriors with shields interlocked, creating an impenetrable wall of bronze. The Spartan phalanx teaches us the power of unity of standing shoulder to shoulder with our comrades, even in the face of overwhelming odds. In the workplace, this translates to creating a culture of support and camaraderie, where colleagues view each other not as rivals, but as allies in a common cause. When we support each other, celebrate each other's successes and offer help when someone is struggling, we create an environment where everyone feels valued and empowered to do their best work. This sense of belonging and shared purpose is essential for fostering healthy competition, as it allows us to focus on achieving collective goals rather than tearing each other down. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work, but a vision becomes a nightmare when the leader has a big dream and a bad team. John C. Maxwell, leadership expert. Building a strong and cohesive team requires leadership that fosters trust, promotes collaboration and recognises that success is a shared responsibility. Finally, my friends, let's remember that success in the workplace, like life itself, is a marathon, not a sprint. In the relentless pursuit of short-term gains, we often lose sight of the bigger picture, sacrificing long-term growth and sustainability for fleeting victories. Unhealthy competition with its focus on immediate results and cutthroat tactics can leave us feeling burnt out, disillusioned and ultimately unfulfilled. To truly thrive in the long run, we need to adopt a more sustainable approach. One that emphasizes continuous learning, personal growth, and the development of strong relationships. This means investing in our skills, seeking out mentors and collaborators, and celebrating our progress along the way. Remember the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. Jimmy Johnson, former American football coach. By focusing on our own development and contributing to the success of others, we create a virtuous cycle of growth that benefits everyone involved. Now, imagine yourself, if you will, as a charioteer in ancient Greece, reins in hand, facing the roar of the crowd in the Hippodrome. 
Two powerful steeds representing your ambition and your sense of competition strain at the bit, eager to charge ahead. But to win the race, you must master these powerful forces, guiding them with a steady hand and a clear vision of the finish line. This, my friends, is the essence of what M-Yoga coaching and consulting can help you achieve. We understand that within each of us lies a deep well of potential, a competitive spirit that can be harnessed for great good when properly directed. Our coaching programs are designed to help you become the master of your own chariot, giving you the tools and strategies to channel your competitive energy in a positive and productive way. We'll work with you to identify your strengths, hone your skills, and develop a winning mindset that is grounded in integrity, respect, and a commitment to excellence. Just as a skilled charioteer knows how to pace his steeds, conserving their energy for the final push, we'll help you develop a sustainable approach to competition, one that allows you to thrive in the long run without succumbing to burnout or unethical behavior. Remember, the only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. Ralph Waldo Emerson. With the right guidance and support, you can harness your competitive spirit to achieve extraordinary things, both for yourself and for your organization. In ancient Greece, people would travel from far and wide to seek the wisdom of the Oracle of Delphi, hoping to gain insights into their destiny and guidance on important decisions. Now, while we at Imjoga Coaching and Consulting may not possess the prophetic powers of the Oracle, we do offer something equally valuable, a deep understanding of human potential and the tools to help you unlock your own. Dr. Yoga acts as your trusted advisor, guiding you on a journey of self-discovery and professional growth. We'll help you identify your blind spots, overcome limiting beliefs and develop a clear vision for your career. Through a combination of one-on-one -on -one coaching, group workshops and personalised assessments, we'll provide you with the support and accountability you need to achieve your goals. Think of us as your personal board of directors, offering objective feedback, strategic advice and unwavering encouragement every step of the way. We'll help you navigate the challenges of workplace competition with grace and integrity, building your confidence and empowering you to reach your full potential. Remember, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Steve Jobs will help you rediscover your passion, align your career with your values and create a work life that is both fulfilling and successful. Legend has it that an intricate knot, known as the Gordian Knot, was tied to the yoke of a chariot belonging to Gordius, the King of Phrygia. It was said that whoever could untie this complex knot was destined to rule all of Asia. Many tried, but none succeeded, until Alexander the Great, in a stroke of brilliance, simply sliced through the knot with his sword. Workplace challenges like the Gordian Knot can often feel intractable, a tangled mess of conflicting priorities, interpersonal conflicts and seemingly insurmountable obstacles. At Emmy Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we help you cut through the noise, identify the root causes of your challenges and develop practical solutions that deliver tangible results. Our approach is both strategic and action-oriented. We'll work with you to develop a personalised plan that addresses your unique needs and goals. Whether you're struggling with difficult colleagues, feeling stuck in your career, or simply looking to improve your performance, we have the tools and expertise to help you succeed. Remember, the greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time you fall. Nelson Mandela will be there to support you through the inevitable setbacks and challenges helping you learn from your mistakes and emerge stronger on the other side.
In the ancient world, journeys were often long and arduous, fraught with danger and uncertainty. To navigate these treacherous paths, travelers would often band together, offering each other support, protection, and companionship along the way. Similarly, the journey to professional success is rarely a solitary one. It requires a strong support system, trusted advisors, and a community of like-minded individuals who understand the challenges and rewards of striving for excellence. At EM Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we offer more than just coaching services. We provide a supportive community where you can connect with other ambitious professionals, share your experiences, and learn from one another. Our workshops and networking events provide invaluable opportunities to build relationships, gain new perspectives, and expand your professional network. We believe that by surrounding yourself with positive and supportive individuals, you create an environment that fosters growth, accountability, and mutual success. Remember, the quality of a person's life is most often a reflection of the expectations of their peer group. Tony Robbins. Choose your companions wisely and let M. Yoga Coaching and Consulting be your trusted guide on the road to lasting professional fulfillment. And so, my friends, we come to the end of our journey through the annals of history. A journey that has illuminated the timeless principles of competition, both its perils and its profound potential. From the gladiatorial arenas of ancient Rome to the bustling marketplaces of Renaissance Italy, from the battlefields of Sun Tzu to the soaring ambitions of the Wright brothers, we've seen how competition, when harnessed correctly, can be the driving force behind innovation, progress and human achievement. But we've also witnessed the dark side of this powerful force, the cutthroat tactics, the betrayals, the toxic rivalries that can poison even the most promising endeavors, the fall of empires, the demise of once great leaders, the collapse of corporate giants, all serve as stark reminders of the price we pay when we allow competition to consume us, to turn us against one another, to erode the very foundations of trust and collaboration upon which true success is built. The choice, my friends, is ours. We can choose to be slaves to our baser instincts, to engage in a zero-sum game where one person's gain is always another's loss. Or we can choose a higher path, one that embraces healthy competition as a catalyst for growth, for pushing ourselves beyond our perceived limits, for creating a world where everyone has the opportunity to reach their full potential. Remember, competition brings out the best in products and the worst in people. David Sarnoff, American businessman and pioneer of American radio and television. Let us strive to be the exception, to embody the spirit of sportsmanship, to compete with integrity and respect and to celebrate the successes of others even as we pursue our own. The true measure of our success, my friends, lies not just in the titles we hold, the wealth we accumulate, or the accolades we receive. It lies in the legacy we leave behind, the impact we have on the world, the difference we make in the lives of others. When we compete with integrity, when we lift others up as we climb, when we focus on creating value rather than simply claiming victory, we create a ripple effect that extends far beyond ourselves. Think of the great collaborators throughout history, the scientists who shared their discoveries, the artists who inspired one another, the entrepreneurs who built businesses together, the activists who fought for social justice side by side. Their legacies are not defined by individual achievements, but by the collective impact they had on the world. The progress they made possible by working together, by recognizing that the greatest victories are often shared ones. The value of a man should be seen in what he gives, and not in what he is able to receive. Albert Einstein. Let us strive to be givers, to mentors, to collaborators, to champions of others as well as ourselves. Let us compete not just to win, 
but to make a difference, to leave the world a better place than we found it. Remember, my friends, the arena may have changed, but the game goes on. The question is, what kind of competitor will you choose to be? The journey of a thousand miles, as the old proverb goes, begins with a single step. If you're ready to master the art of competition, to transform your workplace into a crucible of collaboration and shared success, to claim your rightful place at the top without sacrificing your integrity or your humanity, then we invite you to join us at M Yoga Coaching and Consulting. Our team of experienced coaches with decades of experience guiding individuals and organizations to achieve peak performance is here to provide you with the tools, strategies and support you need to navigate the complexities of workplace competition with confidence and grace. We'll help you. Identify your unique strengths and talents. Develop a winning mindset grounded in integrity and respect. Master the art of communication and collaboration. Build strong and supportive relationships with your colleagues. Overcome limiting beliefs and achieve your full potential. We believe that everyone has the potential to be a champion. To achieve extraordinary things in their careers and in their lives. Let us help you unlock your potential to become the best version of yourself and to make a lasting impact on the world. Your career breakthrough awaits. Book your complimentary call today. Don't let another day go by feeling stuck, frustrated or unsure of your next move. Take the first step towards mastering the art of competition and creating a work life that is both fulfilling and successful. Book your complimentary career breakthrough call with M Yoga Coaching and Consulting today and let us help you turn your workplace into a springboard for growth, collaboration and extraordinary achievement. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. Jimmy Johnson, former American football coach. Are you ready to go the extra mile? Are you ready to unleash your full potential and claim the success you deserve? We look forward to hearing from you and embarking on this exciting journey together. Remember, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now.